Hey my friends, how are you? Let's get more news from Steelers, but before that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Love, respect and business, Saquon Barkley's absence still has New York Giants' attention. The Giants do not want to speak publicly on Saquon Barkley's contract, as Brian Dable made perfectly clear in his news conference Tuesday prior to the first of two practices at the team's minicamp. Every conversation I have about Saquon will be private, the Giants coach quipped before batting away a couple more questions regarding the absence of one of the team's most important players. That's about all you're going to get from Dable at this point. Barkley will not be in attendance this week, as has been the case throughout the offseason program, because he remains unsigned. He's yet to sign the franchise tag, as has been repeatedly noted, so the Giants and Barkley remain at a contract impasse. But as much as the Giants don't want to talk about Barkley business, with Dable leading the way as to not get caught up in any negotiation backwash, they continue to take opportunities to praise him essentially shining a light on his absence as both sides play the waiting game with the July 17 deadline for an extension looming. Steelers is interested in hiring Saquon Barkley. Here was Daniel Jones on Barkley, I've said what I think of him as a player, as a teammate. That's certainly still the case, and I'm supporting him and I'm here for him as a teammate and as a friend. And Dexter Lawrence, who like Jones signed a lucrative contract extension this offseason, I love him, and I respect him. It'll all play out for the best, I believe. Then there was the sentiment from Sterling Shepard, the longest tenured giant, I can't visualize him in another jersey. That's my best friend. Obviously, I want him here. So do the Giants, but business in the NFL being what it is, Team Brass is holding the line in negotiations and Barkley's representatives are as well. Former Eagles running back Miles Sanders received the most money in free agency at the position this offseason when he accepted a four-year, $25 million deal from the Panthers. The Vikings just released Dalvin Cook, who has four consecutive 1,000-yard seasons. The Cowboys bid farewell to Ezekiel Elliott. Where Barkley fits beyond the guaranteed $10.1 million franchise tag is a matter to debate, and the Giants and Barkley have certainly done that for nine months with no agreement reached. And you fan, what do you think of the Saquon Barkley situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.